watch Hillary Clinton video, All Americans Stand. Three facts. Hillary Clinton accomplishments have been centered around healthcare, the military and families, especially women and children. The first to affect the economy because healthcare and defense are the two biggest expenses in the federal budget. The combined cost of Medicare, Medicaid and military expenditures are 1.757 trillion or the 42% of the total government spending. US Senator or ratification of the Star Treaty in 2010. 5. The treaty limits the United States and Russia to 1,550 strategic deployed nuclear warheads. 6. That's downfall from 2020. Its limitation the number of deployed heavy nuclear bombers and missiles to 800. That's down from 1,600. Russia was already within those limits, but the United States was not. The treaty went into effect in 2011, will be fully implemented by 2018 and will remain in force until 2028. Introduced the Pediatrical Research Equity Act with Senator Mike DeWine, ROH. This law requires drug companies to research how they produce affect children. The act changed drug labeling to disclose safety and dosage for children. That's. Uh, lower the danger of overdosing for children with chronic diseases like epilepsy and asthma. Working with fellow New York State Senator Chuck Schumer to get $21 billion in federal aid to help New York rebuild after 9-11 attacks. She wrote the bill to get healthcare coverage for 9-11 first reporters, responders. That included health research related to the attacks. The rescue operation forced many policy and firefighters into early retirement with deliberating chronic injuries and illnesses. Our successor, Senator Christine Gillibrand, got the, pass bill, the, bis, the bill passed. Worked with Republicans to achieve fully military health benefits to National Guard members and reservists. Expanded Family Medical Leave Act to families with wounded veterans. First Lady. Hillary chaired the task force and healthcare reform that drafted the 1993 Health Security Act. Although Congress didn't pass it, it laid the groundwork for the Affordable Care Act. It also cleared the way for a children's health insurance program. She worked with Senator Edward Kennedy and Orrin Hatch, who sponsored the bill. It received $24 billion paid for by a 5% tax on cigarettes. She added 1 billion from an outreach program to help states publicize the program and sign up receipts. It proves healthcare to more than 8 million children. In 1994, she championed the Violence Against Women Act that provides financial and technical assistance to states to help them develop programs that stop domestic violence, sexual assault and stalking. In 1995, she also helped create the Department of Justice Office on Violence Against Women. She supported the 1997 Adoption and Safe Families Act. Representative Nancy Johnson, a Republican, so sponsored the bill. It facilitates the adoption of foster children. It also allows state and local agencies greater flexibility on how to spend federal funds. She lobbied Congress for the 1999 Foster Care Independence Act. Senator John Shafi, RRI, and Tom Daley, RTX, sponsored the bill. The act almost doubled federal spending for programs that help teenagers leave foster care after they turn 18. The program helped them complete their education, find jobs and become self-sufficient. Secretary of State took the lead in drafting and negotiating the Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement. Once ratified, it will increase U.S. exports by 123.5 billion annually by 2025. Ten industries that benefited the most include economic, electronical, autos, plastics, and agriculture. Successful concluded bilateral trades agreement with South Korea, Colombia, and Panama in 2011. 
Korea and Gribbon remove almost 80% of the tariffs have increased exports by 10 billion. The Colombian government exported US exports by 1.1 billion dollars. Negotiated ceasefire between Israel and Hamas in 2012. Call for the raid of Osama bin Laden compound in Pakistan. Sided with CIA director Leon Panetta, who first told her it was possible. Overcame opposition from Vice President Biden and Defense Secretary Robert Gates, who were worried about political backslash if the raid failed. Pushed the national United Nations to impose sanctions on Iran in 2010. That created a recession in Iran. The economy shrank 6.6% in 2012 and 1.9% in 2013. That's because they cut Iran's oil exports in half. Clinton was personally involved in these politics efforts and pushed them publicly. There, the sanctions made Iran agree to stop building nuclear weapons in 2015. Instrumental in negotiating the 2009 Copenhagen Climate Change Accord. The developed and the major developing nations uh, agreed to limit global temperature increase to 2 degrees Celsius over the pre-industrial level. They also agreed to pay $100 billion a year by 2020 to assist poor countries affected the most of climate changes. Timeline and additional accomplishments. 1977 founded the Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families. It did research and educate the public on children issues, joined Rose Law Firm, appointed by President Carter to chair the board of the Legal Service Corporation, 1979-1982, to first lady of Arkansas during Governor Clinton's administration, became first woman partner at Rose Law Firm. 1982 to 1992, First Lady of Arkansas chaired Arkansas Education Standard Committee, which created new state's home standards, founded Arkansas Home Institute Program for Preschool Youth, helped create Arkansas First Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, on the board of the Arkansas Children's Hospital and the Legal Service and Children's Defense Fund, corporate board member of TCBY and Lafarge, first female board member of Walmart from 86 to 92, chaired American Bar Association's Commission on Women in the Profession from 87 to 91, Arkansas Woman of the Year in 83, Arkansas Mother of the Year in 84. From 93 to 2001, First Lady during the Clinton administration, chaired of the Task Force of National Health Care Reform, she continued to be a leading advocate for expanding health insurance coverage, ensuring children are properly immunized and raise public awareness of health issues. She was the First Lady with a postgraduate degree. 2000-2008 U.S. Senator from New York, Senate Committee's Armed Service, Health, Education, Labor and Pension, Environment and Public Works, Budget, Aging, Member of Commission of Security and Cooperation in Europe, she also led the charges on the Lily Lebert Pay Equity Act. 2009-13, U.S. Secretary in the Obama Administration, opened Chinese market to the U.S. company. Thank you.